So what is not enoughness or low self-worth? I'd say it's different for everybody. So I can always only teach from my lens of perception or from what my students have told me, my coaching clients and what I've observed. Self-worth really is, and I go through this more in the program, it's the limiting beliefs that we pick up through life and that feeling that we're not enough when we are, we're more than enough. How it can show up, things like imposter syndrome, not doing something that we want to do, feeling out of alignment, away from purpose, not doing things that bring us joy because we don't think we deserve joy. So it could be that dance class you always wanted to go to. It could be so many things. And we just don't think that we're worth it. Quite often as women, we put people uh, ahead of ours. So I know that I used to get to the end of the day and I hadn't done anything to nurture my soul or my energy or my body. And I'd feel alone and unsupported. Now, I had all the support around me. It was my self-worth not accepting or feeling worthy of even receiving. So this can show up in terms of love. It can show up in terms of money. It can show up in so many different ways. So it's just not having enough um, or not feeling that we're enough. So it's my doggy moving around. And so, yeah, I just wanted to introduce that because we all have this. And in some aspects, although I've done so much work on it, there'll be some aspects there. It's like peeling an onion, layers and circles and cycles, layers to get down to. And it's probably a lifetime of work. However, I feel way more enough than I did 10 years ago. 12 years ago even two years ago it's constantly evolving if you want to grow if you want to develop in this way and it doesn't have to be for a goal it can just be because you don't feel all right where you are now and part of you knows that you do deserve love and you do deserve joy and you want to receive more I can remember I was that closed off I just didn't accept anything from anyone, a compliment. And I've got a lot of this um, things about this in my podcast. There's one about accepting compliments. Yeah, I didn't accept compliments. Offers of lifts. I'm like, no, no, you can't. I'd make life so difficult and lonely for myself. And I deny someone the act of helping. I love helping people. And I can remember once we were in Croatia, a beautiful shot for a family photo. Someone offered to stop and take it. And I said, no. I was like, why did I say, my husband said, why do you say no? And I didn't have an answer. I just didn't want to put upon people. And that, I don't want to put upon people. That's not enoughness. That's a sign that you don't feel enough. Um, so yeah, I just want to introduce that concept because quite often we don't realise, we think we're okay. Like we have our standard. Oh, I'm okay. I'm coping. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, well, I sh it should be hard. I shouldn't have joy. I, I don't deserve that joy. It's all right. I can do that when I'm retired. That's something I, I caught myself saying, oh, I'll paint when I retire. And I was like, well, I caught myself. Do it now. So I'm doing it now. I deserve to have that joy of painting now. Not when I'm 70. Now. I deserve that. And that's because I'm in that place where I do feel most of the time that I am enough. I've done the work. It's very freeing. I don't want anything that's restricting my freedom. I want to feel free. So I hope that helps introduce the concept of self-worth. Some of you will know this off by heart. And it might be some one thing I said that's like, oh, that's interesting. I thought I'd done that work. And some of you, it might be a whole new world of like, I've never looked at this. And if you haven't looked at it, it might be a sign if you're seeing this video that it's time. It might be. So there we go, food for thought, sending love, bye.